Welcome to another Radar Companion how-to video. This video will be explaining how to pair your Rodenzo DS1 radar detector to the iPhone for use with the DS1 Companion app. What you want to do first is go into your iPhone settings by clicking the settings icon, verifying that your Bluetooth is turned on. If it says off, go ahead and click on that and toggle it on. You want to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on your iPhone before you do anything else. Next, what you want to do is you want to come over to your Rodenzo detector and you'll want to do a couple of things. You first want to check your firmware. By doing that, press the menu button that's in the middle here. And then press the plus button to go over until you see unit and press the menu gut again in the middle. Press the plus key again to go down to the actual firmware version. When you see firmware version, click on the menu button again. And you'll see this is running version 1.15. You want to make sure you have 1.15 or newer in order for this uh, Bluetooth functionality to work appropriately. So once you've verified your firmware, then go ahead and press the menu button again on your DS1 detector. Then we'll go into user preferences. You'll press the menu key again. Press the plus key to come down to Bluetooth. Press the menu key again. You see it is off. You want to press the plus key to turn it on. Press the menu key to select it. And now you'll see that there's a new option of Bluetooth pairing at the bottom. You can go ahead and go down to Bluetooth pairing. Press the menu key again. It says pairing set. Press the menu key one more time and it'll say that it is pairing. This time you want to run your DS1 companion app. It'll check the uh, Bluetooth. It'll say that there's an iOS Bluetooth pairing request. Go ahead and click pair. DS1 connected. And you'll see that it is now connected and paired to your detector. Now you can check this by going to your off button. This is just a one-time process one that once you um, turn on your car, your vehicle will get back into drive again. Your detector will turn on and you will see that it will connect DS1 automatically connected. from here on out. Thanks for watching this video. Please put any comments below if you'd like to see a, a different how-to video that we can do on any kind of radar detector functionality or with the uh, companion apps. Let me know in the comments below. Also hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your time. Bye.